with barely any recording time left, I am going to try to do my bolero haul from a couple nights ago. So I'm going to do this as fast as I can. I won't be able to talk about the products a lot. Just know that the reason why I bought them is because it is natural products, cruelty free, and the ingredient lists are relatively very short, very small. Um, so I pronounce these products as clean enough for my personal preference of trying to make sure that I don't have products loaded with chemicals. So thanks for coming along and I'm going to do them as fast as I can. The reason why I bought them, even though it is no spend March, is because these have been on my wish list since last summer, last fall, when I found out about them. They've never been in any of my stores, so I went ahead and decided I would do the smart thing and get some while I still could. This was the only hand wash they had. So I got this one and it is 13.5 fluid ounces. This is the only bath soak they had. So I went ahead and got one of those. This is 17.5 fluid ounces and the French lavender and citrus um, scent is for relaxing. Lavender is great for people with anxiety and melting away your stress. The only body wash I got was this one. That's the wrong side. The Moroccan Mint and Raspberry. I think it smells very, very good. Reminds me of something from the Bath and Body Works when I was in early college or te late teen years. I can't remember what scent it was. Then I did go and get the oil. I almost might want to go back and get another one of a couple of these because... I don't know how long they're going to last me, and they're all in a little spritz spray bottle, but I think it's going to be hard to come across these again unless they're suddenly in high demand in my state or in my area. So I might want to go back and get some of the oils. So the lavender and citrus, the Moroccan mint and raspberry, and the Italian pear. The Moroccan mint and raspberry is for hydration. I have very dry skin. And the Italian pear is for rejuvenating. I love that word, and I love what it means. Everyone needs to rejuvenate. Everyone needs to mm, just rejuvenate. For the bath bombs, the same three scents. The French lavender and citrus. <coughs> the Italian pear. And the Moroccan mint and raspberry. You're seeing a pattern here, aren't you? For body cream, I got two each Italian pair. This is 3.5 fluid ounces. Moroccan mint and raspberry. French lavender and citrus. And for the facial wipes, Italian pair, 30 count. Moroccan mint, ah, Moroccan mint and raspberry, 30 count. and. French lavender and citrus, 30 count. Uh, that's it. That's it, everyone. That's it. Woohoo! Um, I wanted to show this that I got from Big Lots a few nights ago. This is a night cream. It seems like pretty good ingredients. Um, I'm going to try it out. It was $2, I believe. And I thought I had something else around here. What did I have? It was from the Dollar Tree. Just a second. Oh yes, I have been seeing these for a few months, so I decided to try one of these. And I heard someone say that it lasts them a month. I'm going to use this mostly on my feet, because I want to have beautiful, cute feet. Soft feet. Um, I go barefoot a lot, even in the winter. So the skin starts to callous, I'm sure. Why am I always cut off here? Um, I think that's it. Yeah, so that's it. That's my Bolero haul. So I wish that I had another 10 or $20 to stock up on more. Even if I had, there still would have been a lot on the shelf. So I just couldn't believe I called ahead and they said, yeah, we think we have those bath bombs. So I went looking for a few bath bombs. I didn't know they had the whole line. And you'll notice I didn't buy the English Rose scent. The reason for that is because while I really do like the scent, I don't prefer it on me. I prefer to smell it on other people and to enjoy it from a little bit of a distance. I don't prefer to have that as one of the scents that's on me and immediately around me. Um, like on my clothes and on my skin and all that. So 
Um, I don't hate it by any means, but I think I associate an early childhood memory with the smell of roses. Not all roses, mind you, but the really perfumey ones. So I think that I just kind of keep a distance from it because of that. And I do remember I was about three or four years old, and with my sister, I think we had picked our neighbor's roses. And I don't remember knowing the neighbors very well. But we picked the roses without permission, and our parents made us go over and apologize, and we were so painfully shy. So I think somewhere in my subconscious I might be associating it with that, because I can remember that the roses smelled exactly like this Bolero English rose. Um, I'm a little bit out of breath, I haven't used my inhaler, and I'm really, really tired, so I'm feeling run down. But, oh boy, it's been a week, you guys, and my kids are going away for two days again tomorrow and hopefully I'll be able to catch up on some stuff, hopefully I'll be able to do some things. I want to get a good sleep and then I want to use my favorite singing app. I don't know if you use Smule, S-M-U-L-E. Um, I think on my Android it's called the Sing app and I just love to sing with it. Um, I'm looking for a couple songs like the one I really want to learn is called We All Bleed the Same by Mandisa. And so I really want to learn that one this weekend and I want to try singing it. If I do, I might want to try to link it to one of my videos if I feel like I did an okay job. So anyway, I encourage you if you're musical at all, if you love to sing, that if you ever have time, sing to backing tracks on YouTube. Singing can give people a lot of good feelings. It releases happy endorphins. Or um, like maybe you download the app and try singing on it like that. So. It's getting late. I'm feeling like I'm not making a whole lot of sense at this point. Pumpkin is already asleep on my bed. I want to get my makeup off and go cuddle with him. So thanks for coming along while I showed you which Bolero items that I really wanted to get. This one smells so good. And what I noticed is after I opened it and used it, I had to wash my hands for some reason. I think I was touching laundry, so I washed my hands. I could still smell it after I washed my hands. So that was pretty cool. It lingered a while. That was neat. Alright, enjoy guys. See you next time. Bye.